One of my recent projects that I just finished is a book on architectural photography. I feel like to really ex expand your photography, you've got to work out of your comfort zone. And of course, I'm known as being a still life advertising photographer. I've never done any kind of architectural assignment. And here, my very first assignment, I'm doing a 400 page book on architecture. It was actually based on the history of Marietta, Georgia, which is a suburb of Atlanta. And this, uh, this area outside of Atlanta was not really destroyed in the Civil War. So we have homes that go way back to the 1860s. So I'm inside these interiors and I'm shooting these different interiors. We're all done in HDR with no lights. Did this book and took three years to actually photograph this stuff. And during the process, of course, we're talking about having everything really properly managed with the X-Rite system. The monitor is actually profiled with the X-Rite uh, I1 system, which I have means my color is going to be dead on the money in the monitor. What I see on my monitor is exactly what I'm going to get when I go to press. That's the key thing is I've got to really think about how is it going to look in CMYK. Uh, being able to take my color checker, uh, my, my color checker passport out in the field and doing every, every interior and every exterior that I shot had a color checker photograph done in it so that I can literally lock down my color on the front end, make sure that I'm doing a custom profile for my Canon 1DS Mark III as I'm shooting, and then when I get back to the computer, I apply the profile. I don't even have to move the sliders. The sliders are already locked in because the profile is comparing what my chip actually sees to what it, the software really knows it should be and creates that profile, and when I, I call it pre I'll call it almost pre-processing my file. Before I do anything, I go into the seventh tab in the camera raw, apply my color checker passport profile, and then that literally all my sliders are almost in the right spot. From there, it's just a little touch of enhancement, build out the photograph and go to town with that. I went ahead and pro we did the printing in China and by doing all the, the CMYK conversions, I got a profile from the printer in China, did all my profiles and, uh, pr and all my conversions. Because I started out with the right color to start with, that color follows its way all the way through the process. We were not able to see a final proof on the book. And 400 pages of photography, there's not one picture in there that I could say, gee, I wish that was warmer or colder or lighter or darker. It was just absolutely dead on the money. I'm just shocked and how good, if you do everything right, what's good for one is good for a thousand pictures just like it if you're following the profile. Uh, the Museum of uh, Marietta has now given me my, a wing of the museum for my own show for the next six months. It's all done in black and white. So I did all my conversions in black and white. I'm printing it on the Canon uh, 61, IPF 6100 printer. And I'm really proud to say that because I have the paper all profiled, by the time I make my print, there isn't one time where I had to make a second print. Every, they were printed out the 24 by 36 inch black and white prints. Every single print is dead on the money. Tone, contrast, the feel, the shadow detail, the specular highlight, everything is locked in. I cannot do that without being color managed. And the X-Rite system from get-go has always been sort of like my assistant. It's, it's right there in my, you know, I carry the passport wherever I go. It's in, I have one in every single camera bag. I have one hanging on every tripod. I can't go anywhere without my checker. If I use that color checker and have that profile done on the front end, I am not going to have any problems with color. And that's what makes my clients come back time and time again. I've been shooting digital since 1991 with the very first Leaf digital camera back when they first came out. My first Leaf back was a serial number under 150. So I'm, I had one of the first ones ever built and I've been shooting, never looked back, never shot film again, and in the beginning we didn't really have the color management situation right now. I used to have a little four-leaf clover on my monitor and I would rub it and really hope my color came out right, but once we got the ability to have a spectrophotometer and a colorimeter and being able to read those plots on the printer, everything changed, everything locked down, there was no more guesswork, and if I have to thank X-Rite for doing that because it made my life much easier. <music>